If you look up on Monday night, you could see Jupiter in spectacular fashion. The largest planet in our solar system will reach the closest point to Earth in 59 years. According to NASA, not only will Jupiter be close, it will be in opposition, which means the Sun, the Earth, and Jupiter will line up perfectly, making Jupiter even easier to see. Jupiter is, is a highlight, and we haven't had great views of it for the last number of years, and finally it's coming into a good spot. Scott Young, planetarium astronomer with the Manitoba Museum, says over the next few days, Jupiter will become so bright in the night sky, you won't even need a telescope to find it amongst the constellations. It's un unnaturally bright. People are, are seeing it and saying, what is that thing? I've never seen that before because in their lifetime, Jupiter has not looked this big. Young says if you want to see more, grab a pair of binoculars. They will be enough to let you see some of Jupiter's moons in orbit. And if you can look through a telescope, you will be able to see details like the planet's famous red spot, which is actually a storm that has existed on Jupiter for hundreds of years. So it does show up as color changes a bit. Sometimes you see it as orange or pink. Kurt Nason with the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada says if you can't see Jupiter on September 26th, don't worry, it will remain extremely visible for the next few weeks. For best viewing with a telescope, Nason says to wait until Jupiter reaches its highest point in the sky. That will reduce blurriness caused by Earth's atmosphere, which is also what makes stars appear to twinkle. And if you see stars twinkling a lot, you can still look at Jupiter, but if you have a telescope, you, if you, don't, you can't use as much magnification because you're just magnifying that blur. If you observe um, Jupiter for a length of time for a couple hours on any given night, you will see the planet rotate and different features come into view. Mike Caracas, a member of the Association of Lunar and Planetary Observers, expects over the next few days there will be many images of Jupiter being shared. These amateur images can help NASA plan orbital routes for space probes. And so it's, it's quite nice that an amateur um, can, with, with just modest equipment can actually contribute to uh, help professionals do their job. With a telescope, you could also see Jupiter's faint rings. They are far less visible than the famous rings of Saturn, but they should be observable at this close distance. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.